Check if current command prompt was launched as the administrator. I'm looking to write a script that takes user input, then makes system-wide changes. I need this to be very generic, but simply put, at the top, I need it to check to see if it's being run as an administrator. If it's not, then I want to display a message to tell them that, if it is, I want it to continue on. Is there a constant way to verify this? I am not looking to start a new session as the administrator, I just want to detect if it's currently run as admin. Found this on Stack Overflow. This checks for high integrity level. Works for Windows Vista and higher. Many, many answers to this and multiple other questions across say, 1, 2, 3 to name a few, all of which are deficient in this way or another, have clearly shown that Windows doesn't provide a reliable built-in utility. So, it's time to roll out your own. Without any further dirty hacks, compile the following program, instructions follow, or get a pre-compiled copy. This only needs to be done once, then you can copy the .x everywhere, for example alongside this is internal suite. The code works in Win2K plus 1, both with and without UAC, domain, transitive groups, whatever, because it uses the same way as the system itself when it's checking permissions. Chkadmin prints admin or non-admin and sets the exit code to 0 or 1, respectively. The output can be suppressed with the slash Q switch. Chkadmin.c To compile, run in Windows SDK command prompt. If using Vs 2012 plus, more adjustments are needed if you need to target 2K slash XP. The method is courtesy of this URL. One MSDN claims the appers are XP plus but this is false. Check token membership is 2K plus and the other one is even older. The cleanest way to check for admin privileges using a CMD script that I have found is something like this. This method only uses cmd.exe built-ins, so it should be very fast. It also checks for the actual capabilities of the process rather than checking for SIDs or group memberships, so the effective permission is tested. And this works as far back as Windows 2003 and XP. Normal user processes or non-elevated processes fail the directory probe, whereas admin or elevated processes succeed. This test fails if the everyone, built-in backslash users, or other similar group is given read permission to system profile. Granted, that's a non-standard configuration other than on machines configured as Windows domain controllers which give NT authority backslash authenticated users read slash execute rights to system profile. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.